Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. And thou shalt love the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. I would like to say, Ka halayim la Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, the men I learned this truth from. Peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, all the brothers out there making their bodies a living sacrifice, and the few sisters that are hearkening unto this word. Shalom. Now this lesson was inspired by this video. Uh, the, the elder apostle Gabar had made a, a lesson, and I have it right here. It's, uh, Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. You know, from the Elder Apostle Gabar's channel, Daily Edification 4. So any brother uh, ha that hasn't checked it out, I, I highly recommend it. But he, this is the, the clip, you know, that I'm going to play to show you uh, where I'm going with this, this video. Because, you know, through the Spirit, this video should be titled along the lines of Honor the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So let me go ahead and play this clip by muting myself first. Revelation 19 and 7, let us be glad and rejoice. Those of us that know this knowledge, this truth, that have been called back to this knowledge, this truth, the Bible directs us to be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. How do we do that? Well, we start with his name. We, we honor the Heavenly Father by honoring his true name. His true name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. That's how we give honor unto him and his only begotten son. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb has come we're in the marriage of the lamb right now this is the knowledge that joins us back to the heavenly father his only begotten son hence the marriage of the lamb the word married means joined together this is how we join ourselves to the heavenly father and his only begotten son through this knowledge this truth that's how we do it okay let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb has come, there you go, and his wife, which that's who we are, have made herself ready. See? <laughs> so this is what's happening now. You know, all of us brothers and you few sisters out there that are involved in this knowledge, this truth, that is what you're partaking in. Really the men of Israel, because we're the ones married unto the Heavenly Father. And our women are married unto us. But what's happening is the marriage of the Lamb. We are partaking in something called the marriage of the Lamb, which is happening right now, even as I speak. This prophecy that I just read here is happening right now, even as I speak. Let us be, re let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife have made herself ready. There you go. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen. The fine linen is a metaphor for this knowledge, this truth. Back to our true nationality. That's the fine linen. You know, that pretty much summed it up. You know, the spirit jumped on me as soon as I heard that, you know, to come and make this video. So focusing on the aspect of honoring the Lord, you know, giving him our all. You know, so uh, uh, quickly I found this uh, etymology on the word honor. It's to glory. We glory the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father and his son, his son, who he sent for his people, being Yahweh Shai, who this world ignorantly calls and, and chooses to wrongfully call uh, uh, Jesus. That's a false name. That's not a, that's not, uh, you're not bringing honor unto the Lord's son by calling him by a false name. So we bring glory unto the Lord, you know, by, by going back to his name. Like like the uh, elder Gabar, elder apostle Gabar had mentioned, you know, in this word dignity, uh, it popped up. And if you look up the definition of dignity, it says the state or quality of being worthy of honor or respect. So when you choose, when you whenever these evil people say that evil saying of it doesn't matter what the name is, that that's evil. They're, they're telling you they, they don't care to honor the Lord, you know, and this word distinction. How can you distinct? You know, let's pull up the definition, a difference or a contrast between similar things or people. So when they give you a false prophet, they give you a false idea of what God is and they choose to tell you to honor that and they tell you it's wrong. It doesn't matter what his name, name is. It doesn't matter what he commanded us to do. It doesn't matter what the Bible says. 
these people are clearly showing you their true colors. Distinction. You got to make a distinction between the Lord and the world. You know, we honor the Lord, not this world. So when the world's telling you, it doesn't matter what the Lord's name is. It doesn't matter this. It doesn't matter that. You got to look into the scriptures. You got to look in through the spirit. You got to look into what the men of the Lord are, are doing. The elect, you know, because the, the, we believe through the spirit, the, the elect uh, is going to be uh, um, the men that are going to be doing the right things. You know, they're going to be the ones that are, 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 are following the Bible. They're going to be following Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai through the Spirit. And it all begins with a great millstone, the men that, that are being guided through the Spirit of the Lord. You know, now the, the elect is scattered amongst, you know, the world. You know, so it doesn't matter if you're specifically a, a, a part of Great Millstone. You got to be under the right teachings. Great Millstone carries the correct teachings of the, the Bible. Because, you know, time and time again, these people claim that they have the truth, but they don't follow the scriptures. You know, they don't have that, that, that spirit on them to lead them. But let me go ahead and continue with this lesson. So this is going to be uh, already, you know, went through De Deuteronomy 6 and 7. You know, I've already uh, played the video, you know, had to cut this video up. But let me go into the Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes. And that's exactly what this world teaches. They teach you that to be wise in your own eyes. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of this. Be proud of that. Everyone here that isn't following Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and his correct teachings, you know, that they're wicked. You know, everyone that's not with Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is against him. So be not wise in thine own eyes. You know, even the men that follow the Lord, we're not wise in our own eyes. We look up to the Lord. We follow the, the, the Lord so he can tell us who we are. So he can decide who's right and who's wrong. We, we pray for his mercy. We pray for his, his uh, uh, grace, you know. Because all of us are worthy of death. It's simply through the, the, the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai that we have a chance. We have a chance of making it out of this place. You know, so be not wise in thine own eyes. The, out of this place, you know what I mean, is out of the, the destruction that's going to come with this place. Because the people of this world, they're going to be destroyed with this world. You know, this current time uh, time zone. This, this current time frame, you know, because we're on a... a, a a film, you know, essentially that's created by the Lord. The Lord has everything under his control. So once this place is, uh, uh, we see the end of America, that's when Yahweh Shai's kingdom shall be established here on earth. You know, so be not wise in thine own eyes like this world. Fear the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and depart from evil. And evil is this world. This world is very evil. Job 9 and 24. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. You know, this is going to heal us to, to, to depart from evil and focus, focus on Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Honor the Lord Yahweh with all the, with thy substance. You know, we honor the Lord with the best of the best. The Lord is being honored through the men that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is dealing with. The Lord is receiving his, his, the first fruit, you know, the elect men, you know, and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So we honor the Lord with the, with the best of the best. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. You know, the Lord will uh, bless those that are focusing on him and giving him all the glory that are honoring him, you know, making him worthy uh, of being praised. Verse 11, my son, despise not the chastening of the Lord. So regardless of, of uh, us doing the right things, we're still going to go through things. And this is going to explain why. Neither be wary of his correction. For because he's correcting us, we're not we're not perfect. We need Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, so he's gonna put us through the test. He's gonna see how far we are and continue to let us grow. You know, Adam one rats out, Lord willing. Verse twelve: For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth. He loves those that he corrects. He ain't gonna correct someone that he don't care for. So when these these wicked individuals are succeeding, you know, so called successful in this world. Hey, so so be it. The Lord is going to take care of them in the end. He's not going to correct them. He doesn't care to correct them. He's going to let them be wicked. So verse 12, for whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth. Whom the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, loveth, he correcteth. Even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. You know, a father is going to correct his son so that he, he can be uh, uh, pleased with the type of individual he grows up to be. You know, the Lord wants to be pleased with how we come up. And it's through the Spirit, you know, that we're being guided through the Spirit. Now, before I read verse 13 to 14, I'm going to jump into this breakdown uh, in the Bible Hub. This is uh, Matthew Henry's concise commentary on Proverbs 3, verse 7 through 12. You know, it says, There is no greater, there is not a greater enemy to the fear, to the fear of the Lord in the heart than self-conceit of our own wisdom. 
You know, if we think that we're better off without the Lord, then that's an enemy. You're an enemy to the Lord because you think you're above. You know, you got we got to be in that lowly state of mind. The prudence and sobriety, so the wisdom and sobriety being sober minded, which religion teaches, you know, the, the doctrine of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Not what these Christians claim is the truth. No, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is the truth. The, what, the religion, which religion teaches, tend not only to the health of the soul, but to the health of the body. You know, because we we're making our bodies a living sacrifice, you know. And so sobriety, which religion teaches, tend not only to the health of the soul, but to the health of the body. Worldly wealth is but poor substance. So everything that this world offers is poor compared to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Yet such as it is, we must honor the Most High with it. We honor the Lord with what we have. You know, we focus on Him. We don't eat the foods that this world has to offer. These so-called foods. You know, and I'm referring to, you know, the Levitical law. And, and Christians don't know, you know, they don't go into all that. But let me continue. And those that do despair or use wrong means for relief. You know, the Lord's not dri driving us to despair or use wrong means for relief. The father corrects the son whom he loves because he loves him and desires that he may be wise and good. And that's what Yasharala means. You know, I've just mentioned it. Uh, he's the prince of God. You know, prince of power. That's what Allah means, power. You know, that's what these, this world, you know, these Muslims call God, Allah. It just means power, and that's what God means. So to be a prince of, of power, it means you're, you're a son of God. It goes hand in hand. So the desires that he may be wise and good. You know, see, the father, Yahweh, corrects the son whom he loves. And think of Yahweh Shai. The Lord corrected Yahweh Shai because he loves him and desires that he may be wise and good. Afflictions are so far from doing God's children any hurt that that by the grace of the Most High they promote their holiness. So the Lord keeps us on that 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 strictness. The Lord stri uh, you know puts us through the test to keep us strict. You know to keep us uh, to keep us in check. You know that's true love right there. But I'm gonna go ahead and read about Proverbs three, thirteen and fourteen. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out. You know, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I'm kind of having to speed through it because, you know, I'm at the, the can uh, plantation. Anyways, Proverbs 3 and 13. Happy is the man that find his wisdom. That wisdom is Yahawashai. We're finding wisdom through the, the, through the spirit. And that the man that get his understanding, you know, we're happy for this truth. We're happy to, you know, take time out of our day to make lessons. We're happy to take time out of our day to read. We're happy to take time out of our day to pray. We're happy to take time and, and ble uh, uh, bless the Lord. You know, Barakat Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, that's what it means. Bless you, Yahweh, in the name Yahweh Shai. So let me continue. For the mer merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. So this wisdom of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai is worth more than any type of money. And the gain thereof than fine gold. You know, this is, this is above all. So, like I mentioned, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. This was just a quick hit. I had a, you know, uh, I just, through the Spirit, had, I had to put out there. So, I would like to close out by saying all glory, praises, honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, the men I learned this truth from. Shalom to the hopeful elect.